Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This one gonna show you my favorite new AI image, AI art generator. Again, this is completely free to use and it is fantastic and it has a few things that other AI image generators don't have. In particular, they don't have the 3D object and the 3D models that this one does. So I'm gonna give you a quick overview of it, but of course, if you wanna try it out, the link is in the description below. Again, it's free. You'll know it's free because when I click up here and I click on pricing, and you'll see here that I am using the starter plan. And if I wanted to upgrade, I could, but I am using the free plan. Okay, with that out, now let's get into it. The first thing you wanna do here is it's very simple, is you just wanna go down here to the bottom. At the bottom, you'll see Pixar French Bulldog. You can literally type in what you want, click on generate as you do. One of the things though that makes this one so interesting is the use of filters. Let me show you. When I click on filters here, you're gonna see here that a whole bunch of filters have popped up. You can now scroll through there over 200 and some odd filters to help you kind of create the image and the style and the look that you want. And these aren't generic filters. We're talking about melting. We've got scratched in war. We've got um, mater metallic material, rusty robots, illustrative funk, whatever that one is. That one sounds awesome. So many different filters that you can go through. And you can just add them by just clicking on them. So if I wanted this 3D cartoon animal, I just click on it and it is added. How is it added? It's added over here on the left side. And this is where it gets even better because you can now mix and match your filters and you can adjust the relative strength of them. So for example, if I wanted the cartoon creature and I'm going for the Pixar look, I'm just going to pull that up to 0 0.8. I'll pull the cute monster filter down to 0.6 and again I can just adjust these as I see fit and if you don't get what you want on your first generation just filter them and tune them and get you know eventually you'll get there <laughs> add in filters replace filters remove filters etc so here we go I'm going to click on generate I'm going to come back when it's done I'm going to show you what we got and then I'm going to show you how you can use your own images to make awesome stuff you'll love it all right, welcome back. So here's an example of what we got for just Pixar French Bulldog. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. This is a cute looking little bulldog. You can see his or her little tuffers, And it's got some big monkey crazy ears on it with a Pixar big head. Like it. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you. And again, you can always go in and adjust the filters. So if you decide that you want, you know, this to be a bit more of a cute monster, I would increase the cute monster and maybe I would take down the 3D cartoon animals. And then if I'm thinking, okay, that's what I'll do. And then I could click on generate again. Also, you can type in exactly what you want. So if you know a prompt and you're very good at prompting and you know exactly what you want, type it in. That works just fine too. The second thing I want to show you real quickly here is uploading your own image. This is so much fun where you can upload your own image and you can start creating you know, for example, pet pictures based on your own pet. Let me show you how to do that. All right. The second thing I like to use CG Dream for, and probably my favorite, not going to lie, is uploading your own image using the filters to create cool things for your pet. In this case, pet, but it could be anything. It could be your family member, whatever. So all you got to do here is on the left side, click on upload. When you do that, you get some options. You can upload a 3D file or an image file. I'm going to go into my finder. And then I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to get a picture of my bulldog Kingston. Here he is, my big, beautiful boy. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to drag my image on top. And then in a split second here, it's going to upload. And now look at this. There's my bulldog. But I want to make my bulldog a cute, I don't know, 3D character, right? Like, let's go ahead and maybe not Pixar. Let's go with, although I do like Pixar, French. Let's go. Yeah, let's just do it again. Let's do Pixar, French, bulldog Something simple like that. I mean, you can put in a more complicated prompt if you want, but I'm going to use the filters to get what I want. So I'm going to click on filters now, and then here's what I'm going to do. Instead of maybe, you know what, let's go with claymation. We're going to have like a clay type style, clay animation look here. So I'm going to click on clay animation, and maybe what else do I want to do? Do I want a balloon sculpture? No, I do not. Um, and steampunk. Hell yeah, we got a steampunk clay animation. Okay, this is just me having some fun here. But you'll see here, I just clicked on them, added in those two different filters. You can add more filters if you want. And then here, I'm going to increase the clay animation. I'm going to go ahead and incre increase, part of me, the brass steampunk as I do. And then here on the left side here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this here. 
This is the resemblance functionality. You can make it more resemble more or resemble less. I'm going to cl click on that part of me, and then I'm going to put it at let's do it at point let's do it at point four. So I want like the general structure of my dog, but I want to give the program some latitude to go ahead and make it look cool and you know have some creative thoughts in there. So I'm going to do that. I'm now going to click on generate. I'll come back when it's done, show you what I got, and we'll call it a day. All right, welcome back. So here we go. This is our steampunk slash clay animation style, and I love it. Now, I want to show you something very quickly here. If we go back to the original image, take a look at the image here. This is my actual dog, Kingston. Look at the white slight, like the stripe down the middle of his uh, face here, right between his eyes. And just look at his overall coloring so that when I go back here, look. We've got that cool white stripe in the middle here. It got his coloring very, very cool. Super good stuff. You could do this for hours a day. Put your dogs in steampunk. Put them in cyberpunk. You can put them in rocket ships on the moon. Just upload, change the filters. I mean, you can just have so much fun. The last thing I'm going to very quickly show you here is the 3D models functionality. This is one of the things that separates CG Dream from so many other AI image generators. If I click up here at the top under 3D models, Look at this. It's got hundreds, I think thousands of already uploaded 3D models that you can start working with immediately. So I just, I mean, I'm just scrolling through them here. These are already up there. Let's see. What do I see? What do I see that I want to work with? I, let's go with a race car from like the 50s. I love this look. So here's a classic uh, race car. I'm going to click on it. And when I do that here, you'll see that it's loading using their, um, their loading system. Keep in mind that you can upload your own images or your own models. So if you've got a 3D object or a 3D model that you made or you found, go ahead and use it. When you click on it, you'll now notice here that I can rotate this and it is going to remember the position. So if I was liking this style here where I kind of want like a top down look, for example, something like that, maybe cool. All right, I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and delete these old filters. And then in the prompt bar, I'm going to type in something like a uh, old race car. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not even going to go ahead and use all that fancy uh, prompting. I'm going to go ahead and click on filters. And it's going to open up some filters ideas for me. I'll see some like, oh, car racing. I like that. So I'm going to add that filter. I'm going to add antique car for sure. And maybe retro. Those are some good sounding uh, filters. There's lots more. You can go through them and find the ones you would want. But in the interest of this tutorial and brevity, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and pull the antique car style up a lot. I'm going to pull the retro up way up. I'll leave car racing at, you know, about 0.4 because it's not the biggest factor. I just want this to be an old school race car. And then let's go ahead with that sort of look here. So the top down with a little bit of the front end elevated. I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. I'll come back when this is done, show you what we got, wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here's the image we got, and I'm going to tell you right now, this is outstanding. I love this type of style. It's got the retro, vintage, car racing look down pat. It's got the antique look. It looks like something you'd be racing in the 20s. Love it. It's even got the number on the front, guys. This is fantastic. And as always, you can go ahead and adjust the filters or adjust this uh, prompt if you wanted to. If you want to download it, just click on the little download button. And that's it. It will download like it's done here. That is how you go ahead and create amazing AI images for free inside CG Dream. Thanks for watching.